Well, hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, or basically, the wrecking yard. Um, I said I don't know about putting up another update, but, uh, dang, somebody needs a haircut. Ah, I'll get it in a minute. Anyway, uh, we, you know, we're next Wednesday, or Thursday, and this Wednesday, all right, Wednesday talk. Um, we're headed to Sykes, Missouri for the No Name Nationals, 21st to the 23rd. You guys are close enough to get there, and to get there. Come meet me and Lars and the rest of these YouTube people that's doing all this kind of crap and just sitting around having fun. Uh, but we was out here messing with the trash truck the other day and changing the power steering pump and uh, then we come up with another freaking problem one week away uh let me turn you around and explain it all right we got our power steering problem fixed here we got good power steering now thank goodness uh, while we was messing with that, I smacked the brakes. You see that? Yep. Uh, the meter block. This is the first time in my whole lifetime I've had to deal with this. This little piece right here that goes in that meter block has a check valve on it or something, pressure valve or something. You, I mean, it's still dripping. Uh, but it's leaking out of that, this little piece right here. So I was like, well, I'm gonna, you know, see if I can't just get this piece. Nope, you gotta buy the whole metering block, 50 something dollars. And I'm like, no, there's gotta be a way around this. And then uh, while I was at the parts place, there was a mechanic in there ordering some stuff for his shop. He got kind of interested in what I was talking about, especially telling me about that blower on that, you know, this little 2.8 uh, blower on 2.8. I ain't never heard it like, you know. <laughs> but I was talking to him and I go, well, can I just take this off and find a fitting to go in there and just eliminate this so it goes in that block? And he goes, well, you can. But what that's going to do is make your rear brakes engage sooner than your front brakes okay at this point i'm confused because if i remember right on any brake system the back brakes engage then the front brakes engage so why would there be a problem there so we'll leave this up to you guys that watch the video and give me some hints uh but i'm not paying 52 dollars for a whole thing when we can run to the scrapyard or the pull apart and just find a couple of gm you know meter i mean meter and blocks proportioning pounds and uh snatch this thing off of it uh surely two or three of them won't be bad but that's just another day of messing with this thing uh so I was all upset. Laura said, well, at least it happened here. It didn't happen at the racetrack, which that's right, right? That's great. Um, so we're working on it. We're working on it. Uh, like I said, power steering pump's working great. We got power steering back. The belt's actually hitting, you know, where it's supposed to be on the pulley. Thumbs up to us on that. Uh, way we remedied that is, remember we broke that tap off in there, and what we done was we just took my little, you know, flux coil welder and just welded notches around this thing. Uh, I'm gonna take the flux coil welder with me just in case this thing breaks loose. Uh, cause them belts, this belt right here is 60 freaking, 65 freaking dollars. Uh, you know, 
I don't want to tear that up because that'd be the end of the whole race. But yeah, we're still, we're still at it. I mean, we've got it dialed in, right? We've got this thing dialed in. Uh, with the way everything is set up, that breather will fit on there. You're just not going to close that hood. So we're going to stick the breather on it and just pop the hood off of it and run it without a hood. Yeah. Let's lose 20, 30 pounds right there. Uh, at this point, that's what, that's what it's all about. Uh, I still have it. I'm going to make it a little fitting to go, you know, to close out the heater core. Uh, that's no problem. I'll do that on the lathe in there real quick with a piece of pipe. Boom, boom, boom. You know, and just turn it down where both of them fit. It's going to look a little wonky under here. Who cares? We're just going racing. Uh, I did say I want to get this thing back up and show everybody what I've done, uh, especially this S10 guys that's been contacting me and asking about them four wheel drive headers. I really do want to get this thing back up and do that. I just, we're like a week away. And I've got a lot of stuff going on in the background <laughs> that people, you know, I don't show. Um, so I will do that. It might be after the race. So hang in for that. Uh, the battery situation. This battery does fit in there, but the ground cable's too short. So, Lars said he'd go buy a ground cable for it, and we'll have that done. I'll just put that hole down in. I mean, I'm, I'm going to take the hole down out, the, out of the boat because uh, I don't lock in batteries down. I just put her around that boat, and we'll... We'll make a battery hole down for that. But that's about it, man. As far as the truck goes, I mean, she's ready. She's ready to go. Just that proportioning valve over there. I sent us for a loot yesterday, and I'm like, oh, I went to two or three parts places. Oh, you got to buy the whole thing. You can't buy that little valve back there. And I'm like, that, that don't make no sense. I mean, heck, they put them together. Why can't you get that little valve? But trip to the scrapyard or pull apart. Uh, we don't have time to do it this week, but Lars is off week off work next week, and uh, I plan on taking off of work after Friday. Or well, I'll probably work all the way through Sunday just to get everything done in the shop. So when I get back, it ain't a pain. And then we'll go Monday. Or Tuesday and yank that off and re bleed the brakes, get that done. But that's, you know, I think we're done. Uh, I'm not messing with the electrical system at the present moment. I just, there's, why? Why would, you know, uh, as long as I got, you know, one tail light or brake light, heck, we're good. At least that's what the rule book says. Uh, and we got one headlight in case we're running at night by some strange happenstance. Uh, but that's about it. Um, yeah, if you guys want to, you know, if you're close to Sykes in Missouri and want to come down and have a good time and stuff, and you know, it, when the races and stuff is over, you know, the spectators can come around and meet everybody, uh, get signature stickers, that kind of thing, and uh, just it's a it's always a good time. Uh, this year we're having Smoking the Bandit on the big screen. We're gonna sit around and watch that for a little while, and uh, that's all great. Have something for the kids to do, you know. And everybody just sit around and have a good time. Uh, I can't. There's nothing else to talk about. Uh, but like I said, I'm getting back up under this thing and explaining what I've done with them headers. 
might have to wait till after the race because I've got a trailer full of trash I got to haul off. Uh, and after we got done with all this, I got to clean this mess up. I mean, it's just, there's stuff laying everywhere around here. But anyway, that's about it on this one. Uh, I may throw one more up or fixing that proportion and valve and you know that kind of crap but there you go uh we're ready to go racing Sykeston, missouri no name nationals 21st through the 23rd get your butts there let's have a good time we'll see y'all on the next one